This is Peter Kang. Uh, today is January 23rd, 2015. Uh, as you know, uh, this year has been wet winter. This is my third time I'm going to have to pump these water out. Probably tomorrow when things get a little bit more drier. Um, yeah, it's, it's really muddy, wet everywhere. And this time looks like about it'll be about 500 gallons worth of water need to be pumped out. Um, last one I had to pump out two days. You know, one uh, first day pumps out, and then there's there's that uh, um, ground seepage that had to be taken care of afterwards. And yeah, that was about 400 gallons worth of water that came out overall. And this time I'm projecting 500. Yeah, uh, during this time, um, before the rain came, I put some brace uh, around the corners, and these are uh, Home Depot uh, roof flashing piece. I put two layers, two of them in each uh, as, as a component. So, yeah, when you see one up there like that, there's two of them, at the two, uh, one more at the bottom. So overall, there's like four sheets per corner. Um, yeah, so so that I'll have some more strength on these uh, structure. Uh, I still haven't put the long screws uh, to connect uh, uh, between between logs, um, and I have that right here. Um, these are the roofing screws I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and start using all these uh, yeah it is pretty pretty good size pretty long I'm gonna pre-drill a uh, real uh, thin piece of drill long drill into uh, logs in an angle in a way that uh, you know these logs will um, connect together um, so, uh, so far, um, it is really muddy. Uh, even even out here is muddy now. Um, water, water, and everything. And small place like that, I put door hinges. Of course, I'm going to put some more door hinges around top, tied in with the bigger door hinges I have to keep it even stronger um, corners. And <clears throat> yeah, I, I put uh, a little piece over here so that uh, I could drill a hole and put a overflow with a bulkhead, one inch bulkhead here. And I'm debating whether I'm gonna use one inch bulkhead over here or two inch. Um, I know my grow bed is shallow and really um, uh, and there's a lot of space you know, area uh, which I'm gonna uh, have about uh, a foot and a half in average depth so that I could grow freshwater uh, prawns um, so um, yeah so this this grow bed will be another in a way shallow pond I, wouldn't, I don't look at it as grow bed anymore. I look at it as another way of uh, uh, growing uh, aquaculture. Um, and this end of the grow bed looking towards the unit. Yeah, this was the hardest part doing the uh, leveling of the whole thing. And I'm still hoping that uh, everything works out right and water will be evenly at the edges of all this structure um, and uh, and that's the hardest part I, I ever done and then uh, I had to fill in all these gaps so that uh, you know liner will be uh, cushioned and you know in right places well um, now the easy Part is on now. Basically, putting all my accumulated materials onto this unit, and when, as soon as the place is getting dry, bye.